Welcome, welcome everyone to the zero speed experiment. Nah, I'm just kidding. It's not zero speed talking. It is zero speed for all players. As you can see currently, the best players in the NFL are mainly O-liners, some quarterbacks and maybe some D-liners. But everyone has zero speed. That means that no running back is good anymore. Christian McCaffrey, 60 overall. So he has no speed, still hands, still agility. Uh, but I wanted to test how it would affect the game if everyone had zero speed. Can he still be somehow explosive with his agility? We're going to see. But first, let's have a look at the draft, how this affects the players. I won't expect any wide receiver or running backs here in round one, as you can see mainly defensive players and O-liners so far. And if we finish that round, and maybe also the second round, let's take a quick look at the draft recap. A tight end went uh, top 10 despite zero speed. But other than that, dominated by O-line and defense players, but a running back here, but only 46 overall. So what is a running back without speed? Well, maybe strong here, uh, but let's see how they are going to perform during the season. After the draft, no rookie running backs here in the top players and those players mainly because of agility and also strength uh, but no running back with speed same for wide receiver the best wide receiver in the league is cooper cup maybe because of agility and his outstanding ratings for his hands also the intelligence could be a reason here but no speed anymore and what would you expect? Uh, less run game, I would assume, but also yards after the catch are not a factor anymore. Uh, I already simmed one season with totally normal stats, so we can compare the current league stats to the previous one. I would expect, of course, uh, less, <laughs> way less run game, uh, but Honestly, not sure how it affects the sacks or interceptions because also now defense players don't have speed anymore. The one thing I can say for sure, that rushing over 20 and over 40 yards, that's going to be pretty, pretty difficult. But let's see, as I said, speed also with zero speed. Let's sim the regular season and take a look at the stats. The season is over and one thing I noticed, there have been so many ties compared to normal um, years. I don't know if this is just by accident or if it's more systematic, but the best team in the NFL without any speed are the Las Vegas Raiders. 13 wins and also the Broncos really good. So. Maybe in reality, they need to pray for zero speed to be successful again. Also, the Houston Texans, normally with a pretty bad team here in the game, really good now with 11 wins. The fastest player in the NFL is the Mary Mathis, 5 speed. Of course, they can progress, but funny enough, there is one player with minus one speed. Zach Martin regressed and he also regressed his speed. He's at minus one. I haven't seen that uh, ever. So yeah, pretty cool side effect of the experiment. Looking at the stats, Matthew Stafford with the most passing yards and taking a look, it is still on a reasonable range here. Passing touchdown, maybe a little bit less, but we can have a look at total stats in a second. Matthew Stafford also leads the league in passing touchdowns. Rushing yards, surprisingly not that bad. And no one with over 1,000 rushing yards. But still, 700 rushing yards for a player with basically no speed at all. That's not too bad. Rushing touchdowns, that is not looking good. 
passing was more successful, I would say, and it seems that in total, rather low scoring games, uh, I would assume, looking at those rushing touchdowns and also the leader for passing touchdown. Receiving yards looks quite normal. Receiving touchdown, Debo leads the league, and that, although his best attribute, his speed, is not there anymore. Oh wow, defense play was also affected a lot. I would assume that now defensive players are really, really bad compared to the O-liners, because the O-liners still have their 100 overall rating because speed does not affect them too much. But for linebackers and edge rushers, the rating is really bad because there is no pass rush rating. I would really like a pass rush rating just to, to drop that here or a little bit more ratings. I understand that it makes sense to keep them at a lower level. But in my opinion, I would be really happy about more ratings like pass rush or something like that. Because now every defensive player is really, really bad and therefore not able to perform any sacks uh, just because the speed rating is low. And yeah, speed should not be the only uh, predictor for good pass rush. Before we're going to watch parts uh, of a game, let's compare the league stats. Uh, we already saw some tendencies, but as you can see, Passing was not too much affected in terms of attempts and percentage. That's default by the game, of course, and not really affected by the ratings. But you can see yards per attempt and yards per catch was lower, but not too low. Again, that could be because also defensive players have zero speed. Interceptions was uh, lower here, um, not significantly, I would say, but a little bit less interceptions overall. Sex, I already mentioned, horrible. That could be one outcome of the experiment, to introduce a pass rush and run stopping a skill similar to the O-line, like pass block, run block. You could even combine that in the same rating, pass block slash pass rush. So uh, they, defense players use the same rating slot because they don't need pass block or run block. Uh, for their stats. So that could be a really cool idea to actually use the O-liner ratings for pass blocking and run blocking for defensive players to also have a specific stat for uh, run success and pass rush success. That's just one outcome of the experiment, but sacks really low because of the low speed. Passing touchdowns really low and that shows again overall points must have been really really bad because no passing touchdowns and also barely no rushing touchdowns and yeah as predicted passes over 20 and 40 yards same for rushes really low barely non-existent at all you can see that also yeah in in the average uh, as said and also in the average for rushing the attempts similar maybe a little bit lower but the uh, rush average really really bad Fumbles have not been affected too much, I would say, and um, penalties also similar. Overall, one can say that the NFL is not worth watching anymore. Offense must really, really suck. We're going to watch the Super Bowl in a second, but expect a low-scoring game. Also without any pass rush. That was a surprising element of this experiment. All right, let's go through the playoffs and see who is the best team without any speed in the championship games. The Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers would be a great matchup in real life for the NFC championship game. Here the Niners win and in the AFC the Titans win. So the best team of the regular season, the Raiders lost against the Bengals and now Let's watch the Super Bowl. This is going to be very interesting how it will look with zero speed. Uh, the Titans are starting the ball and they're passing pass completed. Again, this does not affect that too much. And I mean, it does not look too slow, I would say. But here we can see that also the defense is not reacting very fast. So Derrick Henry able to get eight yards here. 
and interception. Um, yeah, if you're st just standing at the right place on the field, you can catch the interception uh, without running. So first run here by Elijah Mitchell. Now Jimmy G looks for the pass incomplete. Let's watch third and eight complete pass to Brendan Ayuk and it's a speed race without any speed. Now the chance for the Niners to get the first points. First, a second and goal with a rush, but yeah, defended by the Titans. Third and goal, Jimmy G with the pass and it's a touchdown. Gray with the touchdown reception and the Niners are in front. Let's watch another drive by the Titans to yeah, see a little bit from, from their perspective, but then let's in the rest of the game. That's really slow to watch. Passes are out fast, but I also have the feeling running backs are faster than wide receivers. Could be that agility uh, affects that. Um, not too sure, but one thing we can say for sure that they are very, very slow. And I also have the feeling that defensive players are a little bit faster, especially when they're off the ball. So... Uh, check that again if you are or if you have the ball you're really slow and the other players who are not uh, who are actually off ball uh, are a little bit faster I don't know if this is just animation based here but could also explain why offensive production was really really bad I think the rest of the Super Bowl and the San Francisco 49ers are the first Super Bowl champion with zero speed Congrats to them. Oh, wow. I haven't seen that so far. But a tackle is the MVP. Rob Havenstein with over 200 pancakes. That shows the domination of the O-line. And that was actually enough to win MVP. That is crazy. Jimmy G, a playoff MVP, well-deserved with winning the Super Bowl. But Rob Havenstein dominated and also Rookie of the Year is an O-liner with over 100 pancakes. Offensive lineman, MVP. I did not think that I am going to see this ever. That's it for this experiment. It was really interesting to see how a zero speed affects the NFL and especially here the game. We have some cool takeaways and of course we can say speed matters. I think everyone knew that before this experiment, but still nice to see how it affects. Thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and see you next week for another Expansion Team episode. Bye bye.